Right, welcome back. Last time, we got real <laughs> lucky and ended up with Bulgaria as a junior partner. Ended up kicking, um, well, actually managing to win a war against the Ottomans, though it was pretty close and involved a lot of naval maneuvering. They're still stronger than I am on most metrics, with the exception of Navy. And we also won a war against Serbia, and, well, also got our first loan, which is just great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sit around and wait. There, at this point, I cannot do anything else. I need to patiently wait and allow for things to settle down. I need to let my corruption reforms do their thing and let provincial corruption go down in important provinces. Or do full on things to deal with corruption. Yeah. At the very least, the nobles are happy, so they're not going to cause that much trouble. I also need to restabilize and let state corruption go down, since it is absurdly high. <laughs> Quite. Yeah, it's gonna take a while before things again settle down. So I'm gonna just need to be patient and let thing let things take their course. Sure, there will probably be opportunities that I miss, but ugh. there isn't much opportunities left. Serbia, up on the back step, um, are still pretty is still pretty strong, though all of their divisions are going to end up rebellious quite soon because of how weak they became after losing five provinces, and so they only have six left. So they just lost half of their own directly controlled territory. They're going to need to start integrating some of those divisions soon. A decent portion of that is also uncored, so. Yeah, they all have high liberty desire because of how weak Serbia is now. It might be just the thing to crumble the Empire. Plus, we're gonna have to eventually deal with this. Yeah, subject of a subject, and they're not allied with anyone, so. Ironically, they're in the safest position possible. Wait, how am I supposed to get there? Okay, you're at least loyal. Didn't want a war. At least they only have one ship. Just about the fact that they have stuff over here. Conditional access to... Okay, so they'll be able to go from one end of their country to another. Why do you have... Access through here? Oh. Dependencies. Dependencies. Despite the fact that they're not actually involved in the war itself. So they have themselves in the hominids. Who are the hominids? On oh, the bailiffs. Oh, this one. Well, isn't that convenient? Well, I might be able to grab some of the bailiffs territory back. So I think I'll stake stay out of actual Turkish majority of the territory. Stick with the Romanoi provinces. Ok, 
Okay, this gives me a few days to deal plenty of damage to them. If I win the battle, that would be best. If I win the immediate battle quickly. Which I might be able to do. I'm not sure if I can... Okay, with those shock rolls, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that shock phase is enough to wipe them off entirely. From sheer damage. Assuming we won't immediately swap to a fire phase. Uh, it's been long enough, so I don't remember how the battle phases exactly go. I know it swaps between the two, but I don't know how many days are in between each of them. Well, good enough. And now we're going to fight against them. With apparently the casualties. And more troops, in total. Spaghetti has 6k. Plus, a far better general and advantageous terrain. And a crossing penalty, too. On top of all that. You really did screw it up, didn't you? Oh, if that would have been a fire roll. A shock roll instead of a fire roll. That ought to be enough to show superiority. Oh, yes it is. Glorious. Strange. Mikhail Serblius was a gifted but eccentric man. He taught and wrote philosophy, astronomy, history, and geography, compiling digests of many classical writers. The more he studied the classics, the more enthusiastic he became about them. In 1367, he wrote several pamphlets to Andronokos the fourth, describing how Basilia Romeo could be reorganized according to Plato's Republic, with political, legal, and economic reforms that would leave the autocrator as a centralized monarch, the army made of professional citizen soldiers, and the peasants working land owned by the state. When invited to attend a church council, he began teaching scholars about the Greek classics, especially the work of Plato, which inspired a renewed interest in the Greek classics. Finally, in his personal life, he was a moral but also polytheistic. He was moral but also polytheistic, encouraging his pupils to pray to the statues of the gods of Rome and Greece. This does not help him defend against choices of heresy. <laughs> Ah. Uh. I'm not swapping to Hellenic. <laughs> right. It would be crazy to go Hellenic right now. Yeah, just let the uh, bats go to the west. Need someone else to fill in the slot. Who did they get as an ally <laughs> to help them? Oh, yeah, if you can bring in Naples. Yep. I also have Asea as part of all this. Athens is now independent. Again, our next opportunity to consolidate terrain. That was bound to occur anyway. And the Empire falls apart. Is there any ever any doubt? You know, I would be perfectly fine with you crossing the strait. Have fun! <laughs> You've got nowhere to retreat to. 
against that shock roll. Yep. Uh, it's pretty bad if you actually lost this battle. I'm trusting you to manage. But with your excellent buffs and their terrible debuffs from um, strategic decisions, let's call them that. Nothing strategic about that. <laughs> or at least nothing properly strategic. That wasn't a smart move on their part. It's lovely to trick the AI into doing dumb decisions. Right. Fine. Some bonus trade power will help my economic situation a little bit. Not sure. What? How did you screw that up? Excellent. New provinces court. Now I can stay in East Macedonia. Full core. And now the province can be taxed. Excellent. Redelegate. Let's see. Yep. We're getting some taxes into here. Excellent. She indicates that they are a good investment. Of those points. Quick, move to here. Now they're stuck. Honestly, it seems like I can't get out of going in, into wars. Um, the loan situation's a bit touchy at the moment. Things are going somewhat well, but not exactly great. I've managed to pay, uh, I managed to collect enough money to pay off the first loan, but I still have two more loans that I'm dealing with at the moment. Yeah. That's gonna be tricky to get around. Also, I'm dealing with unrest issues. Because poll tax. Freaking poll tax. At least that should keep the popular militia small and easy to handle. I've also managed to trap most of the enemy army on Lesbos, which is glorious. <laughs> Sorry, a little namesake for lesbians, but you're gonna have to be my strategic sacrifices more. There's been some weird stuff happening with um, effectiveness of the Bulgarian military, but for now things seem to be going reasonably well. I am gonna have to be careful with the stability though. It looks like I'm actually... Okay, I'm barely getting any stability points whatsoever. I'm not entirely certain why. Oh, because the promotion of the event gone. <sighs> Possibly. Okay, I'm just reaching for marriage. Well, I'm probably not going to go into battle that many more times.
I have enough unrest to make reducing welfare a questionable thing to do, so it's not. Yikes. I have not been able to get the war exhaustion reduced because the Karaman is trying to grab Philadelphia. Of course, they went with the Holy Goal. The Holy War cast a spell, eh? So. Yeah, I'm having fun dealing with that. <laughs> it might be time for a reform. I can't do civil examinations, though. Oversight over officials is too expensive. This doesn't help me with that. Nor does this. I can't get that. Somewhat helpful, but not amazingly so. And that reduces base welfare, which makes it questionable if I should really do that in the first place. Yeah. So, probably shouldn't do a reform, but I will. It's going to cost me stability. Yeah, let's, let's revitalize the administration. It's going to cut down on state reach, but it should be fine. Lower state reach will be helpful in the most corrupt of provinces. Let's promote the aristocratic faction. I've got enough prestige that performing a show of devotion isn't that bad, so... And, to less degree, enough points. Yeah, really, all that's been happening is just me trying to get things to be a little bit better around than this war. Which evidently makes it hard to make things get to get to be better. Oh, and there's also the fact that, the, that Athens is now independent. Which is nice, because it means I can go ahead and declare war on them without many repercussions. They are allied to the knights. But the knights hospitaller, while they have plenty of provinces, don't exactly have... They've got a small fleet. And their army's kind of small, too. Of course, they also have to be guaranteed by the Ottomans. So, yeah, they're going to be a problem <laughs> to deal with. But at least it looks like they're not going to try and culture convert Romanoi. Romanoi. Provinces. I did also tech up one in every category, so. Gonna have to go for poll taxes at some point, though. I'm also empowering the burgers as best as I can, because it's going to take time. Urban autonomy is expensive. Instability, too, so. Yeah, I absolutely need to be careful with them. But the more power I can grant them, the sooner I can do this. Once I get the stability to prevent from everyone else getting annoyed in the process. It will reduce base consultation, but... Pfft. Which means the burger's gonna agitate even more. Which is actually a bad thing at MT. I forgot, agitation's only really good in Victoria. Because that's really the... Hallmark for reform, and Lithuania has fallen to pieces. It's a good thing I didn't ally them, because I'd be involved in that too. On the one hand, I need allies to defend myself. On the other hand, allies are definitely a problem. <laughs> yeah, I can't really block it. Either. Oh well. Uh, yeah, things are going reasonably well, considering, you know, country that is supposed to have been dead for a century or two, or maybe three or four, or maybe even a millennia, depending on where exactly you count the supposed to be dead year. <laughs> hmm. Nobles are still pretty powerful, because promoting the lesser nobility is still in effect. However, based upon that power spread, it looks like the resting point is actually pretty low. Which is a good sign. That means I can... probably get close to the point where I could promote the lesser nobility with little repercussion. Though then again, yeah, I need to be careful. 
It's 20% influence. Is that the resting point for in is that resting point for power? Rule governance. No. No, it's not. Oh, it's influence within the faction system. Okay. Uh, loyalty, aristocratic influence, power, loyalty, shift, power from loyalty, shift, speed. I need a legitimacy too much to drop this. Probably should go for making it easier to tax them. Should weaken their economic power and bolster the power of the state. Assuming that I actually want to use for that, it, it not just allow them to have high loyalty. Give me an easier time. But yeah, I'm gonna need to get. I'm gonna need to try to get commercialization fast. National civil force strength is twenty percent. Because you need commercialization present in order to get practically every other institution available. Scientific method, commercialization requires the scientific methods. The exception is Col no Colombian imports requires commercialization. Okay, everything requires commercialization. So I will fall behind unless I obtain it. So I need to get at least commerce right seven. So. And possibly also obtain provinces from trade merchant republics that have allowed it to spread. Yeah. Thankfully, Venice and Genoa are everywhere. And once I'm strong enough, I could actually win one-on-one -on -one battles with them. Problem! Merchant Republics. So they're bound to have trade leagues. Though for the moment, they're tiny ones. Venice is actually pretty open at the moment. We only have the Knights as allies, and Bologna and Venice, well, Naxos, to help them out in the war. Yeah. Also, the Ottomans are about to go to war with the Jindar, it's spy networks. They do work. Yeah, so I plan on sieging down this province, so that I can grab these two provinces. Holy War Castle's Valley, minus 15. They're proud as well. They've got a lot from military strength. Uh, I'm hoping to get enough money from them in order to pay off my loans. And to begin actually investing into my own economy. Because without economic growth, I'm going to stagnate. I really wanted to trap someone on Constantinople, but I don't think anyone's gonna bother trying to siege a town. <laughs> Until they get artillery. Even then the AI might avoid it. Yeah, with corruption this low, at least I'll get a lot of money for a short while. It should be enough to revitalize myself somewhat. I could invest into civil mines over here. Uh, state riches... I believe... Yeah, it's really low over here, so investing into the silver mines would not allow me to get much. Most of it would go to elsewhere, probably to nobles. Here, Savage is actually reasonable, and it's a gold mine. It's gold. Although that only really means anything if the bullion system works, which it looks like it does. Although it seems to be fully kitted out. <laughs> Yeah, it's been full. It's under full exploitation. Let's see. There's also a silver mine here, which doesn't have nearly as much exploitation. Excellent. The well, nobles are at maximum power here. State rich is only at 50%. Silver mine here. State rich is very high. Um, there's plenty of room for me to put mines. What about labor? Quite a bit of peasantry, lover. Excellent. About one unit. Da, 
based upon the moment I'm going about 10 before the whole thing starts to fill out entirely. Plus, my peasant population is going down. I wonder if other locations are having the same population drop. No, they're not. Do I just have some random debuff that makes it so that I lose population constantly? Looks like it. Great. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up investing into precious metal mines in order to help keep my economy afloat. Because while that stuff still is lost to, ta to corruption and whatnot, it won't cost nearly as much power. Oh, and there's been plagues running through. So, you know, that's fun. Bubonic Plague started in Philadelphia, which is just great. Constantinople lost 5% of, of its population. Yeah. Peasant freedom is already at its minimum. Which was very quick. And there's no way for me to weaken the nobles. That has to say less than 40 or 30. I absolutely have way more than that. <laughs> anyway, I've gone on for long enough, that's for sure. I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye. We will be winning this war, and hopefully a ton of money. Hopefully. Certainly got a lot of ticking war score to work with. Let me just look at it. 19.5, I can earn 10.5 more, but I don't want to because I need this war to end fast, or soon, because I still have a long recovery period. Also, the truce with the Ottomans has ended. That's ominous. That's very ominous. All right. Off I go.